Good morning. Welcome to the <coughs> FTS Bet Slip on Sunday, the 8th of November. Um, hope you're all well. What a day to be alive. The orange one kicked out, having his little temper tantrum, and then Spurs start Son Bale Kane. I mean, what a Sunday. If if Carlsberg did Sundays, what a day to be alive. And we're going to give them old rubber balls. I've, I've changed my mind from Friday where I was all cautious in the preview. We're going to give them a right good slapping. Their defenders are they're dribbling in the corner of the changing room as I speak. Um, yes, I think like lots of you, I've had a couple of texts and uh, messages and emails. Um, read my views on Trump. Um, we're allowed to differ. I don't, I don't know when it became wrong to differ with somebody. And and my massive thing with Trump isn't necessarily political. The, the politics of America, the, the economies and things, of course it feeds over here, but it's not a massive effect on my life. I don't like bullies. I cannot bear the man. He stands for absolutely nothing bar himself. And it's fitting that his final tweet before they confirmed the networks confirmed um biden and harris was i won this election by a lot in capitals the guy has got absolutely fuck all about him i see it if people don't want to see it that's absolutely fine if you want to take your news from twitter and social media that's absolutely fine i've got i'm not in it to have any rows with anybody i use this podcast my podcast to explain my views i think he is a disgusting human being plain and simple that is my issue with him he is a bully he's nasty he's a narcissist he's a misogynist he's sexist He's a racist. He's just an absolute disgrace. And, and what he's doing now just about shows the class of him. He's got zero, zero class, zero decency, zero humanity, zero empathy. Everything is about him. He is a fucking horrible human being. My opinion. If people, if that's who you want to have as your heroes, you crack on. Leave me out of it. You crack on. All I ever say to people, would you have him around your fucking house, sitting with your daughters and things? Because I fucking wouldn't. I wouldn't have him a million miles from me. I think he's a, oh, he's a scumbag. He's an absolute scumbag. Um, we don't know whether... Biden will be the man for America. What we do know is the world is hugely, div hugely divisive. What Trump has caused over there is happening over here. We are seeing exactly the same. I've always said it. We're a little bit behind. We're seeing exactly the same. We're seeing a nastiness in politics that we didn't see. You know, you can have your political views. You can think the coalition did badly or think they did well, whatever. But since that time, with Brexit... Tories getting such a big advantage, the people in front of the Tories, whoever's running it, the, the absolute incompetence of Corbyn, it's just so divided and so horrible, <clears throat> you can't solve anything. I, I am somebody, I like to bring people together, I like to talk things through. Um, you've got to try and be like that, and that's my belief. So by all means, you crack on if you're a Trump lovers, you jump up and down, I know what sort of people you are, um, you know, a couple of the people, I wouldn't I wouldn't have them round me house, um, but, you know, FTS is for everybody, I don't discriminate against people, you know, I run it like Kim Jong-un if I want to, if somebody annoys me, but I'm not going to have a go at anybody for having a different view to me, um, but um, I think it's absolutely brilliant, I stayed up, watched the speeches last night, um, you know, we'll see, time will tell, but what he's doing is just i mean i think it's brilliant that um the press conference in the four seasons car park uh, whether that is true that they booked the wrong thing but ended up doing it in a landscape gardeners with that other nutter rudy giuliana he has lost the plot that boy anyway you don't want to hear about all that you don't want to hear about all that um right there's no pod horses today um people ask me about twitter nitesh puts them on twitter i have said on here i moved everything to telegram i've got people to add which i'll add through the international break um been going well i think the guys in the telegram group did well yesterday um feel free on twitter to tell us if you did i don't know whether you did or didn't i think you did or you should have done but whether you did or not um but yeah so the pod horses there's none they do go on the telegram group nitesh then just posts them on twitter i do mention them if they're on here if i've got time um and the same so today i've given the telegram group the nfl today i've got nfl for the pod uh denver plus three and a half at atlanta odds of 20 to 21 available 
New York Giants plus two and a half at Washington. Two teams in absolute turmoil. One battle of the. It's like a, a real crappy bottom of the Premier League uh, match. This is uh, New York Giants plus two and a half at Washington. And New Orleans plus four at Tampa Bay, uh, 10 to 11. Um, so that is the NFL. As I say, there are no pod horses. Um, so that is all I've got for today. I'm just going to I'm going to kick my heels back, do some football trading, and watch Son Bale Kane. And what was that? Pen? I've got to say, I mean, I did. I saw it only from um, a tweet. Uh, Fulham last night. I mean, I said, you know, I said I think West Ham will win comfortably. <clears throat> Obviously, they didn't didn't watch the game. Um, Fulham, by all accounts, gave a from the reports gave a reasonable account of themselves. West Ham get one nil up. You get your bottom of the table or close to bottom. I don't know whether they are actually rock bottom or whether a rubber ball have got that um, particular joy. Are they bottom of the table? Oh no, they're seventeenth. I do the disservice. Sorry, Sheffield United bottom. Um, yeah, got pasted by Chelsea, didn't they? So Fulham, yeah, Fulham sitting seventeenth in the table. You've won one game. You're one nil down, and you get given a penalty in the ninety eighth minute. I understand the West Ham goal was offside. Haven't seen it again. Not VAR. Be the officials apparently got that one wrong. And what was the lad doing? I mean, to fair play, Scotty Parker's come out and said exactly the same thing. You know, he's made a mistake. I'm angry, but he'll learn from it. But what are you thinking? You know, to try and do a panenka down the middle and do it badly in that situation. You know, if you're 3-0 up, maybe. But you need every point you get. Just put it in a corner and, and hope the keeper don't get it with some pace. Um absolutely gutting for Fulham fans and staggering um, obviously you know I'm, I'm pleased if people had it lay the draw and people had followed West Ham on the advice of the podcast but um, amazing decision from the lad that was absolutely amazing decision to do that uh, anyway that's it as we you know we've moved into lockdown um, I don't think I've left my house since um uh, last Monday, maybe even Sunday, last Sunday, Monday, have bear not been outside at all, which is ridiculous, oh, other than to do me Hong Kong fooey kick in the garden, which ended up badly, um, but I haven't left the property, should I say, um, so I'll be doing some stuff through lockdown, as I said, I'll do some poker tournaments, going to do some Zoom sessions, um, we have got a quiet spell after today, as the, uh, as the, um, Football stops for international break. I won't be involved in those, um, but obviously the horses will continue every day. And I will add as many people as possible to the Telegram group. If the guys in Telegram can let me know either in the chat room there or on Twitter, if it's how you expected sort of thing, if it's all okay for you, um, just so I know, obviously I'm going to have to make a decision whether I keep doing that permanently or whatever, but I think it seems to be going okay. Um, from from what I have seen, but I don't get time to read all your chat all the time. So have a good Sunday. Uh, enjoy the Spurs stuffing um, West Brom. Son Bale Kane. I think I think all three of them are going to score. All three of them are going to get a goal. Be perfect. And um, yeah, let's see what happens develops across the water from tomorrow as he mounts um, all his legal cases that he's mounting. Um, a couple of you did hint in your messages to me that it's all fraudulent. I'd ask you to go back and sort of have a check of things. Do you, do you genuinely think that it's fraudulent by that amount? I'm sure there are fraudulent votes. I'm sure we get them here. But by that amount, do you think the whole thing, how many people would have to be in on that when you think that Georgia is a Republican-run state? Do you really think that everybody was in against him on such a big scale? Is that what you firmly, honestly believe? Um, interestingly enough, I've only seen one person own up to uh, voter fraud watching the TV, and that was a Republican lady who was out complaining about voter fraud and then admitted on TV that she voted for Trump twice in 2016. Um, I am sure there's been little bits of it on both sides. I can't believe that every single bit of fraud, voter fraud would have favoured Democrats. Um, I'm sure there's been bits of it on other side. I just think what we're seeing, I said it to my son, uh, he won't go. This is what you're going to get. I hope he don't go. I hope they march him out because I just think that will be the ultimate. Um, that would just be absolutely beautiful. Um, but I'm sure Phil Helmer said a big bet that he will concede within six days. I am sure, given the, the sort of lack of anything coming out of that camp at the minute, bar the Nutter Giuliani, that um, there will be 
some people around him trying to talk sense. It'll be really interesting now to see what the Republican Party do. All these people who've lined up behind him, the Lindsey Grahams and that, who were calling him an idiot, thick as mints, Ted Cruz, all those who've lined up behind him, see what way they go when he goes. Um, it'd be really interesting. It's a really interesting... I love American politics. It's a really interesting phase of what actually happens from here. And whether this man's up to, you know, unifying it in any way, because that is what it needs. Anyway, that's my views. Um, I love it. Love it. Goodbye, you little orange fucker. I'll um, see you on... um, See you tomorrow.